Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from azureautomation.com and welcome to my all new course on GraphQL. And in this course we'll be talking about developing and testing GraphQL server with GraphQL.NET library. So GraphQL.NET is an implementation of Facebook's GraphQL in .NET language. There may be many libraries available to develop the GraphQL implementation in .NET, but this GraphQL.NET library is quite popular and is actively supported by the community. And that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this course. And before starting this course, I assume that you already have a basic understanding of ASP.NET Core and Entity Framework, basic understanding of REST API and basic understanding of testings. So that's exactly what we'll be doing in this course because this course, even though it is going to be talking about ASP.NET, REST API and testing from the complete ground up, few basic understanding will really help you get started with this course. And talking about the course content, you can see that this course starts with the basics of the GraphQL where you can really see the complete understanding of the GraphQL from the queries, parameters, arguments, alias and whatnot. And then you will see this course will have a setup of the ASP.NET Web API project and Entity Framework as ORM and then developing the actual GraphQL server support. And following that, we'll also have the testing of the GraphQL using the GraphQL client and also how we can do integration testing on the GraphQL client. So that's exactly this course is going to be and this course is going to be ever expanding with new contents every month. And not only that, in this course, we'll also be discussing how your existing ASP.NET Web API project with REST API implementation can be completely transformed into a GraphQL project, something like this, and how you can access the same data from the Entity Framework as an ORM and leverage the power of GraphQL to query them. We'll also be using the cool GitHub Copilot to write the code because using the GitHub Copilot, you will see the power of writing the code much, much faster. And you will see sometimes I will not even be typing many of the things and you will see that all the things is going to be automatically coming from the GitHub itself. So that is something we'll be using a lot in this course and you'll understand the power of GitHub Copilot while writing the code itself. And once again, Join with me in this course and I hope you will really enjoy learning GraphQL.NET from Complete Basics. Thank you.